Για ένα τέταρτο, 20 λεπτά το πολύ, θα... θα... About 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Our two speakers will take questions. Please raise your hand. There are microphones. Say your name, who you're addressing. You can either say it in Greek or in English. There is interpretation at hand. Everybody will understand. And please make make sure the questions, not statements. I don't want to put you in the process of uh, listening to me in translation. So, Elena Panariti, you're going to listen to me afterwards in Greek, though. But right now, um, congratulations, indeed. It's, it's very difficult to do that in a foreign country because it's also very difficult to identify if you have actually five private detectives running after you. Um, I've been in your case, but only when I was working with the World Bank trying to do um, reforms in Latin America, so you can imagine. It's five, five that we noticed, yeah. I'm the only noticed five. I'm sure there were several snipers out there you didn't even see. Um, but I want to make a question to uh, my friend Dennis Martinez. Um, is your uh, last uh, slide had five actions? And you only, if I understood correctly, one has actually been taken care of and the other ones are still... Ref I just wanted to have a clarification. The other ones are still suggestions, yeah. or they're done? The, the reform unit, has it been done or not? Uh, no. Um, so what has been done or is, uh, you know, the amount is not uh, the three billion, uh, but uh, it's, it's starting to move, uh, and was announced very recently, is the first one. The, this liquidity relief uh, effort for aimed specifically to um, compensate for the lack of banking uh, funding to the small businesses uh, at this stage. It does require actual cooperation of the banks, but it makes it a lot easier for them. The unit has not been done. The talent placement has not been done. The bank recapitalization is advanced, uh, unless we hear again that it's set back. <laughs> I would say about half of what I showed uh, is actually in different stages of progress. The other half is not, hasn't really sat started uh, yet, or no, is not in a real uh, stage. Uh, my question is for Mr. Gray. Uh, uh, Your name, please. My name is Yanis Sobadjoglu. I work for Anatolia College. Uh, you mentioned that uh, the Greek uh, banking examples you brought forward are not specific to Greece, and one might say that similar instances can be observed in other European countries. Do you believe a, a, a EU um, net solution and not an individual state solution could address these issues? Uh, and to take it a step further also, do you think that the Greek state is capable of, of monitoring interest of that magnitude? Um, yeah, I think that the, obviously there's some special things about Greece and that there are some quite unique elements to the Greek banks. But uh, to some degree, you know, all of them are operating within the European space, you know, and, they, and they, the nature of the free market is that, you know, they should uh, be some form of common standards uh, because they present themselves to investors, they lend across the, the barriers and it's quite striking that... Uh, for example, the way in which Greek banks were so loaded up with Greek government bonds, as opposed to holding bonds from other countries, the, the, the common market did not function in the sense that these supposedly independent companies were sort of locked into the, uh, the state system. I think there's a very strong case for, uh, for, for regulation at, Euro at a European level to enforce much tighter standards uh, and, and, and a question mark, certainly a question mark in certain states uh, I don't think the case is entirely proven here, because what's been clear is an absence of investigation. There hasn't really been, you know, we, we, we can, as a journalist, you can pick at little examples and try to sort of illustrate certain points, but it needs a much more f fundamental, broader investigation to really pick out whether some of the, you know, the stories we've mentioned are sort of systematic or just uh, a small thing. So there has to be a, uh, I think there's a case for it, saying that the, 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 the local administrations, you know, 
where particularly where the interests are so interwoven, struggle to to regulate things properly. But I think there has to be a balance between the two because at a European level, uh, some of the institutions in Greece are just so small in comparison to the the big cheeses in the banking world that you wonder whether they'll actually pay attention to some of the issues. So you need you need you need to balance that out so that there is a uh, there you know. There's local sovereignty to make sure you, 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 you regulate the smaller banks. I mean, like something like the Proton, for example, would count for nothing at a European level. So you have to have a balance, I think, between the two. Thank you very much. First question to Mr. Gray. I very much appreciate your presentations related to the banking sector in Greece. I would like to have a comment about the media sector in Greece. So that means you could stay in Greece another two years to report about the media. Since there is no regulation as established 89, if I remember well. Second question to Mr. Martinez. Also appreciate very much and McKinsey work for the Greek government. I think it's too optimistic your what you said, and I like very much the proposal to young talent. If he has been registered existing public servants with finishing public administration school in Greece, masters, where they are sitting, you should sit, find them and work for the Greek government. And secondly, as agricultural and challenging problem, products, recently just published the European Union site, 10 to 10, that mean 10 products geographically indicated by the European Union countries and 10 for China. It was prosciutto from Italy, two olive oils for Spain, France, cheese, unfortunately, no product from Greece. This just last week published. Do you have a question? This is the question. How to do this with whom in Greece? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's works now. Uh, thank you for the question. I'm sorry, I'm going to be very boring on, on that question because I'm actually, uh, well, two things. First of all, all the Greek media are our clients. We supply them with all these stories that we write in the hope that they will print them. Um, what can I say? Uh, but the second thing is I'm actually writing an article right now about the uh, Greek media. So I, I'll have to save my... Uh, <laughs> We'll, we'll, uh, there was a, you may have noticed there was already some reaction by one of the media owners to our questions that we submitted, but we intend to make it a very fair article. So we, uh, we'll, I, I'd rather, until I've heard all sides of uh, the story, I, will, I won't say any more for now. Okay. So um, if I understood the question uh, correctly, it was... Um, how are we, with what people, with what resources are we going to achieve the things that we say we um, should aspire to achieve? Um, and that also doesn't have a, an obvious and easy answer. Uh, I think it, the answer I would give right now has two parts. One is about the public sector, one is about the private. Um, on the public sector, I think it will take a long time to, to reform. I mean, you, you, you need to remove... Uh, uh, ways of thinking and working and, and mindsets that have been ingrained for, for decades. Um, however, what you need from the public sector at the moment is uh, not to become the, the model public sector of uh, you know, the world, but at least not to stand in the way of, uh, of, of you know, business, uh, uh, private sector, uh, trying to actually take Greece uh, forward. And that, uh, in, to a large degree, requires uh, some you know, political interventions that are starting to happen, as I say, but obviously uh, have a long way to go, that uh, simplify regulations, that uh, simplify procedures, um, and give much less of a role to the public sector to be able to block uh, uh, what healthy uh, business is trying to do. On the private sector side, I, I think we have uh, uh, very uh, impressive talent in Greece. 
Uh, I do believe that. Uh, I, I come in contact with it uh, every day. I think it's, it's proven uh, wherever it has a chance to, to show. Uh, we need to change also in Greece uh, mindsets from one of uh, you know, easy money, easy consumption, just nice living, uh, to one that is more of a hard work brings results and, and rewards. Uh, that was uh, the case in Greece uh, not that long ago, uh, but uh, the, 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 the public at large or ma large parts of the public have actually also been uh, corrupted uh, through with the, the, the easy money that uh, had come in. Uh, but that is changing uh, already. Um, I have an interesting example uh, that um, um, was described to me by a senior bank uh, executive. Uh, some months ago, uh, on the same day, came for auction uh, two different properties. One was the house of a famous uh, fashion designer in Mykonos, uh, very flamboyant, very you know the kind that uh, you know you would see in the uh, gossip uh, magazines and talk about it and be impressed. Um, and then there was eight uh, hundred uh, stremata of uh, agricultural land, the olives uh, in, uh, near Sparti. Uh, in the past, he said, uh, you would have a lot of competition for the house of the uh, fashion designer in Mykonos and no interest uh, for the agricultural land. Now, we actually had nobody showing up and uh, bidding uh, to buy the, the house in Mykonos, but we had fierce competition and very high bidding uh, about, uh, from people who actually wanted to buy land and start developing it. And he was giving that example as a sign of uh, things uh, turning uh, and mindsets uh, changing. I think that's you know, some of the most encouraging uh, you know, things that uh, should happen around and I think are happening more and more. Allow me to ask something for clarification about talents in Greece. Talent is one thing, but the other, another thing is the know-how, the skills, the potential, the education, the training these talents have. So there is talent and there is the other side as well. Can you make a comment, please? Do you find what you're looking for in the private sector? Um, what I would say is that um, in Greece we actually have some uh, extraordinarily um, strong schools, and Anatolia is one of them. There's uh, schools in Athens that are, are of very high caliber. Um, definitely at the secondary level and more and more also at the uh, th uh, university uh, level. Um, what uh, we are lacking, I would say, is a strong education that covers the large population so that the public part of the education is, uh, uh, has not uh, caught up. Uh, um, and then the, the also the public university education it is uh, uh, producing people that uh, learn to, to work hard, uh, those that excel, and then can follow on uh, uh, and, and uh, pursue more advanced degrees internationally and then have, uh, you know, be uh, people that, uh, that can be successful at an international uh, level. Um, I think what we're still uh, lacking is uh, a more uh, mass production of graduates that can actually uh, be immediately productive in the in the workforce. I have a question which is addressed to both speakers, except that uh, uh, except that. Uh, Sorry, Simon Ben Sasson. I'm moderating the second uh, panel. Uh, I know that Stephen has already declared he is not going to answer that kind of question, so Dennis Martinez will probably answer his half. Uh, the question is this it's, it relates to the press. The question was already asked. And what I'm really shocked about what I heard on the first one uh, we had the presentation of one negative side of the Greek situation and one potentially positive side of the Greek 
not a positive one, a potentially positive one. And as far as the Greek press is concerned, I'm shocked that uh, uh, something that uh, could be a scandal or a, s a chain of scandals uh, of a magnitude uh, not having seen before in recent years, uh, and whereas minor scandals have been investigated to exhaustion, uh, that set of scandals has been completely silenced. And I don't understand that. I'm, I'm filled with puzzlement regarding that. Uh, as far as the McKinsey report is concerned, we have a similar situation on the complementary side. Uh, there is very little coverage of the, uh, of the McKinsey report. And even though it is a technocratic report, as he said, it's not a political vision of the future. It's a technocratic vision of the future. The political vision is missing. And the McKinsey report could have been the basis of a discussion, or if not the basis, the starting point. And we had, we had nothing in the press about the McKinsey report at all. So my question is, what is the uh, Greek press doing about the good and the bad things? Uh, I mean, this silence is deafening. I guess your question is why the report has not been yes. publicized. Yes. Um, I mean, I would say our report has gotten coverage. Uh, obviously, it's not first, uh, you know, p uh, news uh, for a long period of time. Uh, if that happened, we would also feel a bit uncomfortable. Uh, we are quite uh, media and public uh, shy. Uh, I was even scared today uh, coming here and having this uh, presentation together with uh, Stephen Gray. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, so I think that there has been some cover. So I don't think it's a matter of the press. I think I would take more the question around uh, what are the governments do. And I, again, I have to say we have worked this through three, four different governments. Um, they have all uh, embraced uh, their finding. Also, the Troika has been uh, uh, a party uh, in this process of developing and developing the recommendations. Um, I think uh, we just did not have the right chance, not us, the, the government uh, and the Troika, to elevate this. But I, I sense that this time may be coming, because now is the time to talk about growth. So far it has been about just putting a bit of our house in order, escaping the you know, different uh, political uh, you know, episodes that, that emerge from time to time. Um, I think that, or I want to believe that now the time is coming and I don't care if our report gets prominence, but it's, it's this agenda that uh, has to come to the fore and I, I, I would hope that it, uh, this will happen soon.